Hi, my name is Nicole Tucker-Smith, and I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer in January of 2020. I was first introduced to the idea of cold capping by my oncology nurse, and I discussed it further with my oncologist. I mentioned to her that um, I was most concerned about permanent hair loss. So I knew that I had done some research and I saw that one of the treatments that I was getting had a chance of leading to permanent hair loss, about 2% of the um, candidates who used that particular, who had that particular chemo treatment had permanent hair loss. And I, you know, I explained to her, I can handle, you know, being bald for a little bit, but having the permanent reminder of going through chemotherapy every day was going to be just really hard for me to take. So she suggested that I speak with a dermatologist who, with whom she worked. And so in speaking with the dermatologist who was also African-American, she mentioned to me that if I was most concerned about permanent hair loss, then cold capping would be, um, as far as she knew, the best way to combat that. I also discussed with the um, dermatologist my concerns about the instructions that I received upon um, how to use the cold cap. So because the dermatologist was African-American, I thought she may be helpful in helping me find the best ways to have the cold cap work for me. Now, unfortunately for me, cold capping technology was still pretty new back in the beginning of 2020. And it was just hard to get resources in general and information because it was in the middle of the COVID pandemic. And so the information that I received about how to use the cold cap uh, was basically written for white people or folks with Caucasian type hair, I'll put it that way. And um, for those of you who may identify as black or African-American or just have a particular type of hair, um, you know, in the four range, if that's, if you're aware of hair typing, the information that I received about how to use the cold cap said to wet my hair in order to make it lie flat so that the cold cap would fit tightly. Now, for those of you who have hair maybe similar or in the same hair family as mine, know that if I, I knew that if I wet my hair, it was going to expand, not lie flat. So I tried to get some answers about what was the best way to go. Unfortunately, I did not receive good information in time for me to use my cold cap. So I basically lost all of my hair except for in the very, very front. So I, um, it went through the process. I tried to wet it and use the cold cap. It basically ended up, my hair dried and basically formed a hat and prevented the cold cap from treating my scalp. After the first treatment, my hair started falling out in large clumps, particularly right on top. That was the part that had been covered the most. So I decided to shave my head all except for this little poof in the front. It helped me feel normal. Eventually that poof thinned out over time, but it did help me keep a little bit of normalcy in the front. I will say though, that the cold cap made a difference for me. So for example, my I used to have very thick eyebrows. My eyebrows didn't really grow back fully, but my hair um, grew back thicker than it was before. And um, I'm actually really happy with the way my hair is now. So my last chemo treatment was in July of 2020. So I'm about 11 months out. So this is almost a year's worth of growth. It's 11 months and I'm, I'm really happy with how my hair is. This is not necessarily how I wore it before, but I'm really pleased and knowing that um, it made a difference for me. What I did learn was that if I wanted to use it, uh, the cold cap to the, its best abilities for um, my particular type of hair, instead of wetting it, I should have used um, some kind of uh, combination of hair gel. Um, so if I had twisted my hair using hair gel and a little bit of water, it would have stayed. And what's really important for the cold cap is that one, it needs to get as close to your scalp as possible. So you really wanna get that um, cold air on your scalp. 
And two is that they do need, the cat does need some level of conductivity. You can get conductivity with water, but you can also get it with hair gel. And hair gel keeps my hair, would keep my hair from drying out. So what I did after I shaved my hair was um, I did put hair gel on and twisted the hair that I had. And then for everywhere else, I put, I used hair gel to create the conductivity. And then I put the cold cap on. And what I will say is that it worked effectively. Um, in particular, my, my hands even turned blue because the cold cap was so effective. And um, I have a friend who was also going through chemotherapy at the time. She used the, the twisting method and she only lost hair right here where the cold cap doesn't cover. She kept almost all of her hair. So it is possible for it to work for black um, hair. It just, you just need uh, directions that are appropriate for you. Um, I was also grateful to receive a um, scholar, not a scholarship, but a grant. Uh, there is a local fund for the DC metropolitan area and I did receive a grant to help with the costs because insurance did not cover the cold cap. 